So now I'm here at Ramari Brewery in Asheville and just met the owner. It's such a great place. You let me take a look around in the back and I'll show you kind of what their setup looks like, how they're making an insane amount of beer in a really tight space. So it's really impressive. I'll show you around and then I'll also show some footage of the front of the house, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, definitely one of, the, one of the coolest breweries I've been to here. So um, let's go take a look and uh, see what's going on. Bromari Brewing Company is one of those places that show you in megawatt technicolor brilliance how Asheville is at the forefront of the brewing revolution that is still going on in the United States. Dreamed up with the name Hive Mind, the founding team of Gary, Joshua, and Audra envisioned a place where a cooperative collective effort would bring forth fantastically creative beer and sumptuous food at an insane level of quality. They named their project Brahmari after the Hindu goddess for bees and never looked back. And while they pride themselves on an artistic approach to brewing and food, don't let that fool you. These guys work. Their tiny brew space is crammed full of tanks and kegs and barrels and fermenters with barely any room to stand. It is a testament to their work ethic, how successful they've been with such a small space. And not only that, but they make a ton of beer. I was astounded at the variety of wildly different beers and just check out how many beers they have on tap. With hilarious names like Late Night Squirrel Bite Nut Brown Ale and Unicorn Death Wish Berliner Weisse, these things are as much artistic creations as they are refreshing beverages. The concept and the whimsical nature of the brew itself leads naturally to the front of the house, with its lovely amber wood grains held by frames of cast iron and industrial steel. The wood ring wall and the beehive light fixture complete this articulately designed space, leaving one to almost feel they are in a painting or maybe even a Wes Anderson film. If you were curious, yeah, the beer was outstanding. I highly recommend visiting them and trying as many of their beers as possible. All in all, this was a true highlight of my trip and a really unexpected gem. I can't wait to go back and experience it all over again. My biggest thanks to everyone at Bramari, and to all of you, thanks for watching.